The race to govern the country has always provided the different political actors the chance to run for the highest office in government whenever an election is organized. I am meeting veteran journalist Ba Trawale on a wide range of issues such as the history of party politics since the 1960s. When Gambians turned up to vote on December 1st, 2016, Ba Trawale said the outcome of the results was amazing. I certainly did not expect, to be frank, that I would uh, witness uh, a change of government, I mean the eviction of Jame uh, from government by opposition through a democratic means. I thought Jame because he said he was going to be in power for about a thousand years. Did he say that? I said that for a thousand years. Well, I, I trust, I believe that, what he said. I thought he meant what he was saying. For a vast majority of young people, it was the first time a coalition of political parties had beaten a sitting government at the polls. This is not the first time an opposition party uh, ousts a, a, a sitting government in the Gambia. This is not the first time. In 1962, the PPP government, I mean rather the PPP party, then in opposition, led by Sadaud Jawara, um, was, was, was able to defeat the United Party because the United Party was, had a coalition government, as I said, a coalition government led by chiefs, the officials of the government, and, and the United Party, and perhaps some independent people. That was a, that was a, that was a coalition government. And uh, the PPP, uh, supported by DCA, the Democratic Congress Alliance, um, were, uh, was able to, to, to defeat the United Party in, an, in the 1962 general election. Bra witnessed the May 1962 general elections. Just like the December 1st, 2016 presidential election, the opposition party, PPP, swept the polls. In the 1962 general election, it was a very tough election. Very tough. The situation was tense. The officials, the police, the chiefs, the, everybody in authority was against the PPP. Everybody in authority in this, the traders, everybody, everybody who can who can who can who can say something with authority was all opposed to the PPP. But we, but the PPP managed to overcome. In the run-up to elections, the political atmosphere in the Gambia is always high. Political commentators say it is only after elections are concluded that the various parties realize their strengths and weaknesses. We have to be faithful to the historical record to state that Gambians did exactly what they did in December 2016, in May 1962, because that was the first time in history of electoral politics in Africa that a sitting democratically elected government was removed from power through the ballot box. The People's Progressive Party of um, you know, Sadawda, Kairaba, Jawara, won the elections, okay, which were organized by you know, the, I mean, um, you know, the United Party of PSNJ, which was then the party in, in power. Okay. So what happened in December 2016 had happened much earlier in May 1962. In this one, almost everybody <laughs> was opposed to the government. It was, even the army, even the army, because I've, I've just been re uh, hearing that the army the chief, uh, the chief of staff said he was offered some money, um, some money to 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 overthrow Jawa, to I mean to, to overthrow Jami, but he refused to accept. So even the army was opposed to, to in this uh, recent election, even the, uh, the army was opposed to Jami. 
So you see, this is different. But if Jami had won, in my own in my own way of thinking, it would have been very dangerous for this country. But Trawale disclosed at length the way the United Party, headed by P.S. Nyai, who was tipped to win the May 1962 general elections, lost. That election was fought on the on the misguiding and on the so I say, mistakes of Pernyai. Pernyai was then the chief minister. In the conference held in London, at the conference held in London, the, 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 the report that came out gave Pernyai wide latitude to hold election or not to hold election because there was a clause in the recommendation that an election should be held in May if, if, take note that, if administratively possible. Pernjai could have said it's not possible, administratively possible. If he had said that to the British, the British would have accepted that because that was what the British wanted. They, want, they didn't want an election. And they wanted somebody from the Gambia to tell them, no, it's not possible. That's why they put in that clause, election in May 1962, if administratively possible. Pernyai, who was chief minister, accepted and went to election in 62, believing that his chiefs and the commissioners and the police and everybody would, 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 would help him out. But they all failed. But they all failed, and he himself to fail in his calculation. And how the APRC, headed by Yaya Jame, was also beaten. Those whom the gods wish to destroy, they forced me mad. First, Pernyai made a mistake of going to election in 62. Second, Yaya too made a mistake by disbanding his, his Supreme Court. He sacked all the, all, the, all, the, all the judges in the Supreme Court. That was a serious mistake. But this is it. Those whom the gods wish to destroy, the force make bad. God made him to make that mistake of, 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 of sucking all the people who could have defended him, who could have helped him. And in the election at the campaign, he was telling everybody there is no corruption in this election. This election in this country is free and fair. That's what he paraded for everybody to hear his own words. Our election system is fraud, uh, is rigging proof, is fraud proof. You cannot rig our elections. And I want you to go to the counting stations and see how elections are done in this country. Then you know that there's no reason for anybody to go to the streets. If you turn around to say, no, there's not election, it's not fair, who will listen to you? Like the APRC, the United Party challenged the results of the general elections and filed a petition. The British judge was sent over to hear the petition, you know. So this issue of electoral petition, you know, just as it was rearing its head in December 2016, uh, you know, can also, you know, had also occurred, <laughs> you know, in May 1962. But um, it, it, nevertheless, the PPP was allowed to form a government, whilst the PPP's, um, the UP's in election petition was allowed also um, to run through the courts until the final verdict, you know, um, you know, came in mid-1963 and, um, you know, the UP lost, you know, the petition, okay, and, um, it, you know, that ended the saga. But of course, Kwame Nkrumah played a very, very important part because when he realized that, you know, the PPP government, you know, who were then new in power, did not have the means and the capacity, you know, to defend um, you know, themselves against the election petition mounted by the UP. Nkrumah sent his Attorney General, Mr. Kauswansi, to come and give legal support um, to Insadawda and his party. And thanks to you know, that legal support, you know, the UP you know, lost um, in, uh, you know, their bid to overturn the 1962 election results. The tech home lessons, according to the veteran journalist Bartra Wale, who had a publication which was called The New Gambia in the 1960s is for the young people to embrace the democracy that they've been yearning for and harvest the fruits 
of their labor. Nobody's talking about the creation of organization for the recruitment of young people to go into farming. Young educated people must go into farming. But we all here, between Sadaq, between Banjul and here, all everybody shouting, everybody shouting, shouting, democracy, democracy. And when you go home, you want to eat. You want to eat rice. You want to eat sugar. You want to eat rice. You want to eat fish. You want to eat meat. Nobody is producing anything. We are all consumers. This is the danger of the country. This is the danger. Everybody is talking. Everybody is a sex fair and no worker.